Hi, I'm Liam, welcome to the channel. It's a little bit of a boring one today, but today we're gonna to discuss the personal tax allowance. The ins and outs, who can claim it, and things like that. So the bare bones basics are, the personal tax allowance is a set amount of money workers are allowed to earn each financial tax year without paying tax on that money. Any earnings under or up to this tax limit are completely tax free. And after that, they're taxed in the normal way through the normal banding system. So that's great, but how much is this allowance? Well, currently in the tax year 2022 to 2023, this is 12,570 pounds. So who actually gets this tax allowance? Well, it's available to all UK residents, unless you meet one of two categories. The first one being if you are a non-DOM status, so you are taxed in a different country. And the second one is if you earn too much money. So the upper net income figure for the personal tax allowance is £100,000. So for every £2 you earn over £100,000, you will lose £1 worth of personal tax allowance. Now this isn't great, really everyone should get it, but you don't. But if you are earning over 100 grand, well done to you. Now, as well as there being instances where you won't get any or you'll get a reduced personal tax allowance, there are some cases in which you can increase your personal allowance each financial tax year. Now, the first one of these is called the blind person allowance, which is pretty self-explanatory. And what this does is it adds 2,600 pounds to your personal tax allowance that you already get. This is obviously for the year 2022 to 2023. So if you're watching it at a different time, please check these amounts because they can change. So you take your personal tax allowance of 12,570 pounds and you add your blind person allowance of 2,600 pounds, which gives you a total personal tax allowance for that tax year of 15,170 pounds. Now the second way to increase your personal tax allowance is called the marriage allowance. And this allows you to transfer up to £1,260 of your unused personal tax allowance to a husband, wife or civil partner. Now, of course, the key term here is unused. And this relies on one partner not using all of the personal allowance that's available to them. So if someone was able to gift the maximum amount allowed under the marriage allowance, the other partner will have a total of £13,830 personal tax allowance for that financial tax year. Now, if you want to claim either the blind person allowance or the marriage allowance, you'll have to contact HMRC. Usually there's a form to fill in, and once this is all complete, you will see the change on your tax code. Yes, that's right, I said tax code. As I'm sure most of you already know, your tax code actually denotes your tax-free allowance. So in my case, and in most cases, my tax code is 1257L, which is, £12,570 personal tax allowance. It's important to check your tax code to make sure it's correct. If you don't think it's correct, please contact HMRC and ask them why it's different. Or if it is in fact incorrect, get them to change it to the right one. Mistakes do happen and it's down to you to make sure it's right. Now the easiest place to find your current tax code is on your most recent of pay slips. You can also find it on your online government gateway account. It's also worth noting that your tax-free allowance isn't something that you have to claim yourself. If you're PAYE or an employee, your employer will sort this out for you. Again, you need to check the tax code on your payslip to make sure that your employer has the right information and therefore they will use the right amount of tax allowance to work out their calculations when they pay you. And how they do this is rather than pay you until it is all used up and take no tax, they split it up over the course of a year. And what this does, this works out to so just over £241 a week you can earn before you pay any tax. And in amounts over that, you're taxed accordingly. Don't worry, if for any reason you don't use up your whole tax allowance, so for instance, you suddenly stop working because you had an injury, or just for whatever reason, you will get a rebate. So in case you paid tax on the first half of the year, you didn't work the second half of the year, not using up all your allowance, you would get a tax rebate for that. So that's PAYE or employees, but self-employed people, 
also get this personal tax allowance as well. They get the same amount as everybody else. And this will be sorted out by your accountant. Now, if you do your own accounting, it's important to take away that figure from your earnings before you work out your tax deduction or the tax that you owe. Now, I hope this has been helpful to at least one person. If you have any questions, I'll do my very best to answer them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.